perfect. Perfectly ripe. A little overripe. Honestly. A little overripe. Perfectly ripe. Definitely past break and entering into blush. That, that's, that's a blush. Actually, I'm going to put that one over there. And the ones that are all the way ripened get turned stem side down. And the ones that aren't done ripening stem side up. So that's that's blush. This is break. Break is when it starts to turn white. And that's that's blush because it's got Cherokee purple is a little different though because it's it is a greener when ripe. Like I said, this is ripe for Cherokee purple. Now I'm gonna get some of these plum ones. They seem to behave more like cherries where they do ripen okay out here. So I have a bunch of them. I am gonna pick any that break free easy and that are in the red or orange range, leaving the yellows and the breaks to stay. So this is, well, it broke so easy. So if it breaks real easy, I know it's already disengaged from its plant. our early girls which are definitely a little more ripe than I had planned on I planned on getting them before they got that right but they're still pretty firm and they're not too spotted so they'll be okay then we're gonna go ahead and pick these orange better boys because they look like they're ready to be picked they're kind of some splitting on top or what have you I don't want them to get any damage So there's just a little bit of cracking on the tops and this one what well, it looks like it was probably a previously a caterpillar when it was young tried to nibble on it but it's healed over and it's just a scar now deer in my garden oh boy i am obsessed with these adorable baby ducks you're a good mama. She brings them to this puddle on the tarp so that they can reach the water because even the small water bowl we have out for the other baby ducks is just too tall for these ones. They're so tiny. <laughs> so cute. Good mama. Remember that squash I pollinated? It worked! Our first squash is swelling up. Lots of others are following shortly behind. Are you coming to help mom in the garden? Emma. Yeah. Don't mind my little compost pile there I haven't picked up yet. Trimmings. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Boy. Oh my goodness. Why didn't anybody tell me that the snake gourd bean had the most beautiful frilly flower? I am so excited. The snake gourd bean has started to bloom. Multiple blooms have already happened and fallen off. And well, I don't know if that was one that had fallen off or it's about to open, but I did see some yesterday that have already fallen off. So I'm hoping that means it was fertilized. <laughs> pollinated. I hope that means it was pollinated, but either way, this is really cool. And despite the aphid infestation, even though it's much less than it was, our red noodle beans are blooming. Those beautiful purple flowers. Are you picking blueberries? Did you get a sour one? Mm. Here, Odin, look. 
This one's ripe. Uh. That purple? Uh. He oh, just eats them. Big. He just eats them. This one's picking them, though. Wow. Yeah, don't pick that one. That's not done. Leave it. Leave it. Don't pick that one. All these blueberries. Fun picking. As the evening falls on the homestead, the bees return. It's still hot out, so they are bearding on the outside to stay cool. It's kind of like sleeping outside on your screen porch on a hot summer evening.